Yo, what's up guys? Fancy seeing you guys back here. So in this video, it's going to be a part of a two-part series. It's going to be covering how to create a high converting welcome flow for Clavio. So if you guys are new here, I'm Hugo. I'm a multi-seven-figure dropshipper and also six-figure per month SMMA owner. I run Facebook ads and email marketing for my clients. I've been traveling the world for the past four months and now I'm back in Hong Kong for a month or so uh, just to visit my parents and say hi to my mom. Even now it's today's actually Mother's Day and hence that's why I have the flowers around my uh, loom circle today but happy mother's day to all of you guys and all your beautiful mothers out there please say happy mother's day from me appreciate you all so this is actually a very important video because most of you guys are probably drop shippers or you own an agency or an smma and you guys have multiple clients you always build stores for you maybe even yourself and other other clients i actually expect you guys to maybe come back to this video and watch it uh, watch it multiple times because uh, this flow is actually going to make you guys a lot of money or make your clients a lot of money so that basically makes you a lot of money uh, but do bookmark this video and actually subscribe if you're into dropshipping and SMMA. So let's dive right into the welcome flow. So how many steps should a welcome flow have? You know, what are the contents? What should you include? What's the delay between each email? The welcome flow typically always outperforms the abandoned cart. So the, those are the two best flows. And typically for my clients or my Shopify stores, I usually get anywhere from five to 10% of the monthly um, Lavio revenue generated just the welcome flow itself, right? So including abandoned cart, including some campaigns or the post-purchase flows, uh, it should, should add up to around 30%, a good Clavio account. These are the typical results you should be expecting for a welcome series, even for like the email one, nice open rate, next click rate, 8.1% um, of people actually ordered, 84.3K uh, generated for uh, my, one of my stores. <clears throat> All right, so what's the key of a good welcome flow? So you need to have a lead capture or a lead magnet. So that's what I call the sign up form. So let's say you hop on a website and then you, you get hit, the customer gets hit with a pop-up in exchange for discount, or let's say there's a text which says, uh, join the fam, uh, enter your email below and get some exclusive news or discounts or a promotion sent to your email. Uh, the structure of the flow, okay, so the triggers is that it subscribes to main list. So, so this list is actually a variable which you can change, So which I'm also going to show you guys how to do later. And the filters is that um, there's people who placed the order zero times or have or have not placed the order zero times since starting to flow. Uh, length is typically three emails, but it actually depends on your brand. So if your brand uh, t tends to be more wordy, you could send four to five emails, but a typical welcome flow and the length of the flows that I use. So there are actually two approaches for the welcome series or the welcome flow. Uh, the first flow, uh, actually wh whichever fits your brand vibes, um, email one is the brand intro plus offer. So email two is the benefits slash social proof plus offer email three is cross pollination plus urgency uh, this is one of the um i actually learned this from boy and so you guys can watch him as well so there's another approach which you also could take in terms of uh the email structure which is the subtle structure so email one is deliver the opt-in so give them the discount five percent off let's say uh, or um, you gave them like maybe a free shipping something like that you always have to deliver on your promises and then let them know that you've got some super awesome stuff or value to look out for in the next few days. So this actually gets them excited. So it's kind of like a hype up email for a new launch uh, for brands, which always do like, you know, new launches like Nike, um, you know, it's big brands, which like to do like really hype drops. So make sure that's like really hyped up and stuff. And so email two is the introduction to the brand, right? So like, hey, thanks so much for joining the team or joining the fam. I uh, wanted to introduce us. This is our mission. Uh, this is who, uh, who we are. Uh, include a bit of personality in there uh, just to make sure that it's kind of like a human to human give them that human touch so make sure it's not boring oh we do this uh, we've been doing this for this long make sure it's actually quite interesting spice things up guys all right so email three is most engaging content okay so from your experience in your brand let's say you've ran some ads for a time um, maybe you have an Instagram post which uh, did really well had a lot of engagement you could redirect them to there and then you maybe can also redirect, redirect them to a YouTube video that you guys posted, which had a lot of engagement and it's also trending on YouTube maybe, or you could just simply redirect them to a best-selling product, which maybe they haven't seen yet, right? So most of my clients within the 50 to 100K range uh, actually go with this structure and my dropshipping stores, I actually use this structure. All right, so just let you guys know, all right? Okay, cool, so now let's actually do a full walkthrough. All right, so now we are in the Clavio main screen. Head over to the left navigation bar, click on flows. And then here, you just search up welcome. And make sure that you don't um, click on this one. Don't click on the one with the Shopify green icon. Make sure you click on this one, welcome series. Here is when you have to pay attention. So this here is the trigger, right? 
Um, you guys can have the trigger as the newsletter, but what I do is something is a bit different. So what I do is I go over to uh, lists and segments. And then what I do is I go over to the top right hand corner and I click on create list or slash segment, click on list. And what I do now is because the trigger is that the customer signs up on your website via the pop up, right? So the list is basically whenever they sign up via the pop up, I want to enter them into the list called sign up via pop up, right? So I'm going to name this list sign up via pop up. So this is just makes it very clear because sometimes people who sign up via pop up, they have different um, intentions that if, if you understand what I mean, then someone who signs up via newsletter, right? Someone who signed up via newsletter might have just browsed your store for a long time and they wanted to join your email list, but someone who signed up via pop up just wanted a discount, right? So it's different intent. So I kind of like to separate those, um, those two lists tags, you can just leave it, leave it empty, create list. And after you've created a list, you can actually you can uh, create a sign up form. So I'm not going to go through how to create a sign up form here. But I'm just going to go through how to make the flow, right? So go over to flows, go over to create flow, type in welcome, and then go to the standard one with the list icon, make sure it's not the Shopify green icon. Uh, welcome series and I actually like to do this so I call it a welcome flow and then I put a dash sign up via pop up very simple and the trigger here is uh, sign up via pop up so basically whenever someone signs up via pop up they get entered into the list and then they get hit with this flow so then you click on create flow what we want to do now is set the triggers right so what you want the trigger to be is you want to click on here what someone has done or, or not done. And the metric is gonna be placed order. So you can actually just type place order uh, zero times since starting this flow. And then you can just click on save here. And then that what that basically does is that let's say they get sent one email and they place an order with this email, they'll be like kicked out of the flow. They won't be receiving any further emails from you because that's just gonna be annoying and they're gonna that's gonna piss your customers off, right? So depending on what you guys want your emails to be and depend depending on your brand vibe, you want to um, you know change up how these emails are gonna look. Uh, you can have four emails, you could have three emails, you could have the subtle approach or you could have the offer approach depending uh, maybe if you're more of a dropshippy store, if you're more of a high-end brand store, depends on the vibe and depends on what your customers like. So what you guys wanna also do is that you wanna click on an individual emails in the flow. So let's say we click on this one. Uh, I'm just gonna blur out this email real quick cause that's actually kind of sensitive information. Sorry about that guys. But what you wanna do now is click on this settings bar here. So what I like to do most of my settings is that I like to enable UTM tracking and disable smart sending because if you have all your other flows set up properly, you don't need smart sending. Uh, because that's just going to skip over some people who have like recently opened an email and you want your welcome flow to actually properly send. Some of the less profitable flows you could actually turn this on if you're not as experienced. But you should probably have all your flows set up properly so you, you, you won't really ever need to have this on. So make sure that you apply this for every single email. So let's click on the second one. Uh, UTM tracking on, smart sending off. Same goes for this one and then click on update action statuses and make sure that they're all live click on update statuses and then you're good to go so that is the welcome flow guys hopefully this has some sort of value in it and you guys learned something do come back to this video bookmark this and subscribe to my channel if you guys found value in this thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video which i'll be covering the abandoned cart flow